What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> That was our meme intro, a little something fun that Bachu came up with. Uh, basically, we'll try to make a meme in the beginning of each video. If you guys have any suggestions, leave it down below and we'll feature the best one and turn it into an intro meme for the next one. So leave your ideas down below. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it's been delayed, but it's finally here. What is good everyone? Shoops here. Today we have the video a lot of you have been waiting for and I teased it last month but due to some new prototyping that's been done, it was delayed until now. It is the review of the Owl Lab Spring. So a bit more detail on the board itself, the release for this will be on February 12th, 2022 at 6pm EST. I highly recommend you join the Owl Labs Discord server, link will be in the bio for the most current news and release details and all that because um, this is going to be hyped and it will go pretty damn fast. The price breakdown you see here will run you around 405 for the hot swap kit and 395 for the solder kit and it will come in a lot of different colors as listed here. So looking at the board it is a very nice looking Arisu. You see the huge weight as inner detailings and the board also features a very unique leaf spring mounting style. There are around 8 leaf springs that support the plate which Owl Lab states provides a super flexy and bouncy experience with a more open sound. The board also features this cool LED with some RGB because you know what, having a little RGB is sort of sick again. But overall the board is clean and the QC and build quality is extremely fucking good for the price as expected of Owl Lab's boards. So let's get to the build and see if it performs as well as it looks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this, the PCB is actually sort of crazy. Oh my god, look at all these cuts. <laughs> some, of these, uh, some of these switches are actually holding on for dear life. It's gonna be a real flexy boy, isn't it? For the switches, we're gonna go with Owl Lab's own tungsten switches, which we used in the last video. Uh, these are full nylon JWKs with a long palm stem pretty pretty nice well here is the finished board um i didn't have the space bars i couldn't find the space bars i don't know where i put them so we had to go with the shifts and flipped of course but um it looks pretty damn clean side profile oh my god i'm gonna have to fucking clean this up <laughs> oh all of our labs boards are so bad for my hands oh my god look at this <laughs> Uh, but uh, the board looks pretty damn good. Let's go do a little b-roll and then we can do the typing test and my impressions.
So, what do I think of the board? Another banger from Owl Labs for sure. I think the board itself is superb, the build quality is crazy, and the whole aesthetics of the board is just stellar. As for the typing feel, it feels very similar to both the Epoch and the suit in that it is very flexible and very bouncy and uh, that is due to the amount of flex cuts as well as the mounting method. Now for the sound. With the PE plate and case foam, I still found this board to be much more resonant and open sounding compared to the Epoch and suit. Honestly, I think it's the use of the new leaf spring mounting style, but out of the other uh, boards which were Gaskin mounted, this new mounting style is by far my favorite from Owl Love so far. For the cons of the board, uh, it would have to be the sound profile. Although this board is much more open uh, compared to the Mr. Suit and the Jelly Epoch, it can get a bit boring. And although you can build without PE foam, Owl Labs has told me it is not recommended. So in terms of the range of sound profiles, the only thing you can really do is take out the case foam. Uh, but it won't really change it too much from what I can tell and um, it is a bit limited compared to say the more customizable Mr. Suit that they had before. However, overall I think the market currently doesn't have many Arisu style boards and this one is definitely one of if not the best Arisu I have tried. I think if this layout is something that you want to get into and try, um, this board definitely will not disappoint and honestly it is very very good. It gets my stamp of approval for sure, although the uh, very reflective weight is not very good for my hands, oh my god. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video till the end, and thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we are almost at 79k and 80k subscribers, that is crazy. More videos on the way soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.